All right, hey guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to record, cut, and zip, upload, and send your clips for Minecraft of your creations, tutorials, and stuff like that uh, to Discover Tours. Okay, first let's open up Fraps. If you don't know how to install it, then just YouTube it. I'll include a link in the description. Okay, once we have it opened, um, we want to, in general here, uh, these settings are up to you. I like to start perhaps minimize so that way it doesn't pop up annoyingly. Okay, over here is our screen or our benchmark. Sorry. Um, the only important part here is uh, over in this corner or over the side. We want to hide the overlay so that way we won't, when we record, we don't get a big stupid frame rate in the corner, um, which kind of disrupts your video and makes it look silly. Okay, movies. This is the uh, one that. Um, really matters because it's what we're recording with. Okay, first thing you want to do is change your folder that you save it in. It'll be in a default folder. Um, just save it to a local folder that you um, can access quickly and you know where it is. It's not hidden in like 30 folders. Okay, next thing you want to do is change your capture hotkey. Um, make sure you're not using a hotkey that's used already because you might disable one and uh, enable another one. So. Uh, make sure you have that selected. Okay, next one we want to do is our uh, frame rate. Usually, 30 frame rate or 30 frames per second is the best. Um, it's the simplest and it's the easiest to work with. But I like to use 60 for my HD because I do 60 frames per second, and I just prefer it. Um, what you want to do is uh, tick lock frame rate, so that way if you're frame rate drops on your computer or game, the frame rate will stay the same. It might lag a little bit, but it's better than having a changing frame rate. Okay, um, over here, if you want your the sound that your computer makes, like the alarms and the beeps and everything, um, you can tick this. It doesn't really matter. Um, also, the if you're watching a video or something, the audio will come through and uh, tick stereo. If you're doing a tutorial, um, tick the record external input. Um, this way it will record your audio too, so if you have a headset, uh, make sure that's selected. Then that way you can talk over and do a commentary during your uh, tutorial. And doing commentary in a tutorial is much uh, easier to follow and I prefer it a lot more than Notepad. Okay, down here, um, these are mostly if you have a slower computer, you can, if you wanna do a, um, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of it. A tour video. Um, if you're just showing off a creation you have, um, then you can select this because then you can just take out the audio and uh, it put in your own music. So this will give you more frame rate and not slow down your computer as much. Um, also, this uh, force lossless. This will give you better color in your video, but it may slow it down a bit. So if you uh, have a faster computer, you can select this. Also, if you don't want your mouse showing, uh, then you can tick this, but I usually like to have my mouse. And screenshots, I don't really use this too often. Um, if you want to do screenshots with Fraps, then make sure you have JPEG selected, the JPG, and select your hotkey. Okay, you can minimize Fraps. Let's go to Minecraft. Log in. I'm on CandyCraft, so it might look kind of funny. But um, you can either go windowed uh, view by pressing F11, or sorry, full screen by pressing F11, and then it um, covers your whole screen. If you just press the uh, square up here, you're not gonna get as good of quality. So I like to usually just play windowed, so it's just inside here um, for recording mostly. But uh, now we're gonna go to the area we want to record in. If this guy's not in the way. Get out of here. Okay, so once I find what I'm going to record, I'm going to record this, uh, our house on survival. I'm going to press my hotkey to start recording, F8. Okay, and if you look down here, you can see the fraps is red, it means recording. Okay, once you press F8, if you don't see anything, nothing is going to pop up that to tell you that you're recording, so make sure you um, only press it once. If you press it again, it will stop recording. Okay. Now walk through, do your tour, 
sh try and show off all the angles you can, all the details. You don't really need to go through everything, but just uh, go through anything important. If, things will make it look nice. Um, if you hit a laggy spot, so say I'm turning my camera and it sort, sort of jumps and lags, do that again because that way you can just edit the old part out and you don't get a laggy pan going. Okay, once I've done all my recording, I hit my hotkey again, F8, or whatever yours is. Okay, we can disconnect, close, minimize this. Now we want to go to our folders, and go to the folder that we saved it in. Okay, we'll scroll down, scroll down, and our clip should be down here.